Guys, Linkin Park is back. Ah, the nostalgia. Now I'm not going into the new singer discussion or picking sides. I'm just here to explain how you can recreate the glitch effect from their music video, The Emptiness Machine. By the way, the project file is in the description below. And to start, you need some footage. I'm using a medium close-up of a face. This clip I place in the timeline and immediately duplicate. The top duplicate I'm going to use to rotoscope. And if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to properly rotoscope, check out the video here in the top corner. So with the roto brush, I'm selecting selecting the face of my talent, rotoscoping them out for the entire length of the clip. Of course, when I'm done with rotoscoping, I need to freeze the entire thing, otherwise After Effects will keep calculating the roto brush data. After all that, I select my rotoscoped layer and pre-compose it by hitting Ctrl Shift C. I'm doing this because the rotoscope effect has trouble with working together with other effects and masks sometimes. The next step will be creating a solid layer, which we will be using as a displacement source. On this solid, I'm going to add the fractal noise effect. The first thing I'm changing is the noise type to block. Then I'm increasing the contrast a lot and the brightness a little. Under the transform tab of the fractal noise effect I'm disabling the uniform scale option and then I increase the scale width by a bunch. Decrease the height a little bit. I'm also increasing the complexity and of course to give it all some more movement let's animate the evolution by using the time expression. Okay we have a rotoscoped head and a cool looking glitchy displacement source. Now I'm going to disable the solid layer, making it invisible. On the head layer I will be adding the displacement map effect. This effect will displace my head layer through a source of choice. So for the displacement map layer I'm of course using the solid with the fractal noise effect. And I'm also adjusting the drop down menu next to it, selecting effects and mask. Otherwise it will ignore the fractal effect. Now let's change the horizontal and vertical displacement option to lightness. Then I just need to increase the max horizontal displacement and voila distortion. However it's over the entire head but we can easily fix that by making the solid layer creating a rough mask where we want the glitch to happen. And that's much better. Our face is distorted like in the Linkin Parks video. And to really finish it off I'm adding an adjustment layer on top of everything with the VR chromatic aberrations effect giving it that color glitch feeling. Of course you can animate the displacement going from nothing to pulsating around. Again you can do this with an expression if you want, like the wiggle effect. And if you want to know more about expressions, check out the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.